The movie starts with two snakes, one white and the other green. These snakes are sisters and have been alive for more than a thousand years, even though they look quite young. The white snake is called Sujen. Both snakes can turn into humans. One day, while they are on a mountain, they meet a boy named Xian. Xian is up on the mountain, tasting the flowers. The snakes are surprised to find out that humans actually eat flowers. In reality, Xian and his friends are on the mountain to find different kinds of medicinal plants. He was journeying through the mountains at that time. The green snake, in her true form, frightened him when she showed up. Scared, he tumbled down the mountain and into the river below. Witnessing this, the white snake feels sorry for Xian and his situation. She has compassion for him. She transforms into a person and enters the river. She breathes into his mouth, saving his life. After assisting him, she leaves. When Xian wakes up, he finds all his friends gathered around him. He inquires about the girl who rescued him. His friends respond, saying they didn't find any girl. It was all in his imagination. On that same day, there was a festival in the village. The temple master and his friends were also going to the festival. They had a suspicion that monsters might harm humans during the festival. Xian, who was on his way with those herbs, decides to take all of them with him. On the other side, the white snake, Sujen, saving his life by giving him her breath. She couldn't stop thinking about Jan and, in fact, began to love him. She confides in her sister, the green snake, about her desire to meet that boy. So both of them decide to attend the same festival in the village. On the same night, the master and his companions arrive fully prepared because they are aware that monsters could attack humans at any time. At the festival, the green snake meets one of the master's companions. Because the green snake liked him and wanted to befriend him, she approaches him at the festival. However, he tells her that he can't talk right now as he's there to catch monsters, unaware that the girl asking to be friends is also a monster herself. The green snake then spots Jian and goes to him. She informs him that her sister loves him and wishes to meet him. Jian, not knowing about her sister, declines to meet her. In disappointment, the green snake falls into the river. To help her sister, she pushes his boat towards Sujin. Upon reaching Sujin, she confesses her love for Xian. Xian expresses, but I love someone else. I don't know who she is, but she saved me by giving me her own breath. Hearing this, Sujen realizes he's talking about her. He loves her the way she does. To reassure him that she is the girl he loves, the one who saved him, Sujen takes him back into the river, and she makes him realize that she is the one he loves, the one who saved his life. Now even Jian had come to know that she is the girl. Meanwhile, the companion of the master discovers some monsters. He bravely fights with those monsters. During the battle, one monster injures the master's companion, prompting him to call for the master's assistance. The master arrives and confronts the monsters, transporting them to hell and burning them to death. The next day, Sujen goes to Jian's house, bringing great joy to him. They begin living together and eventually get married. However, on the festival day, the monster had bitten one of the master's companions, leading to the companion transforming into a monster. He becomes deeply upset by the situation, feeling exhausted with his life. Fearing that he might pose a danger to humans if he turns into a monster, he contemplates suicide and heads towards a deserted place. As he prepares to take this drastic step, the green snake arrives and questions why he's considering such an act, persuading him to reconsider. In response, he explains that he fears turning into a monster and becoming a threat to humans, prompting his desire to end his own life. Upon hearing this, the green snake reveals her true nature by showing her snake tongue. She reassures him not to worry, revealing that she is also a monster and understands his concerns. Later, the master goes to the village and discovers numerous victims of the monsters in dire straits. Jeanne diligently prepares herbs to help save their lives. Sujin, meanwhile, is aware that the monsters pose a serious threat to them. They are powerful and dangerous, recognizing that herbs alone may not be enough to cure them. So Sujin puts her breath into those medicinal herbs to help her husband Xian and save the lives of those people. Sujin had a rat, which was her friend. The rat tells Sujin, what are you doing, Sujin? Don't you realize that giving your breath is a threat to you? It will weaken you. Despite the warning, Sujen is determined to help her husband and the others. When Xian administers the herb fluid to the villagers, they begin to heal. This astonishes the master because he believed it was impossible to cure these people. Seeing the unexpected recovery, he questions Xian, wondering if anyone helped him prepare these herbs. Xian responds, yes, my wife helped me. 
the master recognizes that Xian's wife is not a normal human, but a monster. In concern for Xian's safety, the master gives him a holy knife. The master then approaches Su Jin, questioning why she is involved in these actions. He points out that she married a human, despite being a monster, and wonders why she lives among humans as if she were one. Despite the unconventional situation, the master acknowledges her as a good monster and refrains from reproaching her. The master warns Sujin, you should leave Xian, otherwise the outcome won't be favorable, I'll kill you. Saying this, he departs. That night, when Xian returns home, he brings medicated wine that is effective against snake venom. Although Sujin is a snake herself, Xian makes her drink the wine. After drinking it, Sujin starts feeling strange, and her condition worsens. She locks herself in a room. Concerned, Xian asks her why she's behaving this way or if she's upset with him. Unfortunately, Sujin cannot control herself and transforms back into a snake. To apprehend her, the master arrives. They confront each other, and in the process, Xian accidentally stabs Sujin with the holy knife given to him by the master. Unaware that Sujin, the white snake, is actually his wife, injured by the holy knife, Sujin goes to her sister the green snake, but she can no longer transform into human form. The injury ensures she will remain a snake forever. Concerned, Xian inquires about his wife from the master. The master reveals, in fact, this white snake was your wife. You married a 1,000-year-old snake. Shocked after learning the truth, Xian is informed by Sujin's rat about a herb that can save her life. However, obtaining the herb is risky and dangerous because monsters have taken over that place. Despite the risks, Jin ventures there to find the herb. While searching for the herb, Xian is confronted by monsters, but the master's companions intervene to save him. The rat manages to retrieve the herb and gives it to Sujin, saving her life. With the herb's effects, Sujin can take human form again. Upon recovering, Sujin becomes aware of the master and his companions' intentions to separate her from Xian. In response, she retaliates and attacks them. She understands their motives and is determined to protect her relationship with Xian. Sujin takes Xian to a certain place, concerned about his well-being, but he has lost his memory, unable to recall anything, including his wife, Sujin. Sujin confronts the master, asking what he did to her husband, who has forgotten her. Fortunately, Xian's memory quickly returns, and he regains normalcy. However, as Sujin is a monster, the master, using his powers, constructs an ancient house and imprisons her within it forever. She cannot step out of the house. Xian spends his entire life waiting for his wife outside the house. The master's companion also becomes a monster, but a benevolent one, spending the remaining years with the monsters. And so, the movie concludes. Thank you for watching.